Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Uh, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, your first card here is the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. I mean, sorry, not Swords, of Wands. Partner or Person of Interest, the Tower, Death card, wow, King of Swords, Page of Cups, Justice card, Page of Wands, wow, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, Scorpio or Libra had the, had these cards as well, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Scorpio or Libra, I believe. If you are, definitely look at that reading because uh, a lot of these cards are very, very similar to that reading. All right, so off the gate, um, there was some type of conclusion or you're currently going through some type of conclusion, some type of ending. For some of you guys, there could have been a separation or a breakup. Now, with the Seven of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles and Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion, you guys. There is a feeling of not seeing clearly what's going on. And, and I feel this panic, this, this panic mode of wanting to get clarity, wanting to understand or wrap your head around a certain situation. Um, a lot of confusion and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of energy that is extremely all over the place. Um with the six of pentacles here and the knight of Ka sorry the knight of wands there's almost like a feeling of some of having some type or holding on to some type of hope uh on your part cancer um could be a hope of feeling like wanting to you know wanting to hear or find out that perhaps it's not as um it's not as difficult for you to process this situation, it's like holding on to hope that it's not true, whatever it is that you're currently going through. Um, but I'm going to be completely honest with you, Cancer, with the Seven of Wands and uh, the Knight, the Nine of Wands. They're telling you you need to stand your ground. Stop pretending like things are okay. Stop sweeping things under the rug. Stop making excuses for other people's behaviors or the reasons why they act the way they do. Because I feel like you're extremely confused. You don't know necessarily exactly what decision to make. But at the same time, you're kind of hoping for a glim of light at the end of the tunnel. And what they're telling you here is you are evading or ignoring certain red flags or certain things that your intuition may be kind of guiding you um, or something has definitely come to the forefront where it's completely shaken you. And again, um, if you're currently not going through this, you may be dealing with this type of energy in the month of September, the beginning of September. Um, and what they're saying here is, again, there is a need for you to balance your energy. Stop, you know, hoping and you know what they're telling you is take things as they're unfolding okay so what this means is deal with what's with what you're going through with the information that you have in regards to the person of your interest or who you're dealing with um but don't look at the situation through rose colored glasses you need to really be practical about this situation because it's almost like you're hoping with the seven of cups even being in this illusion um of wanting to excuse or wanting to ignore what is unfolding now the way the partner or person of your interest is viewing the situation with the tower um this has already happened or has already occurred or will be unfolding in the next coming weeks the tower is seeing things from a completely different um from a completely different perspective 
And it's like them understanding or them realizing or coming to the uh, conclusion that it's best to walk away from this situation with the death card here and the king of swords being very direct, very cold, very uh, non-emotional when making a decision. So for the most part, I feel that you've been dealing with a situation where this connection has not been working out. Um, and you've excused or you've pardoned certain behaviors of your partner. And it's gotten to the point where perhaps it's been a bit overwhelmingly toxic. Um, for some of you guys, it could even be that you were dealing with a person that was married or committed. We do have the justice card here. Um, and you were hoping or wanting to believe whatever it is that they were promising you or telling you. Um, but with the tower, they could have gotten caught up in the situation where they decide to walk away or completely end the situation. For some of you guys could even be ghosting because the king of swords is a person that is extremely direct. But with the death card, they're making a decision to end and walk away with no emotional attachment. It's like they are quick to cut off whatever it is that they need to cut off in order to bring some type of balance to their life. And with the Knight here of Cups, I feel that their loyalty or their quote unquote love, whatever that feeling they may have of a person that they were dealing outside of your connection, it's like that's where their loyalty land, uh, that's where their loyalty stands. If they had to choose, they're choosing the person that they are committed to or that they've been with for a longer amount of time that they have with you. Uh, justice card here and the page of wands is communication communication coming in in regards to a situation that they are very aware is going to completely change their life or transform their life and they're choosing to walk away or to end some type of connection this could be with you cancer so again if you are dealing with the situation stop making excuses if it's a person that led you on and promised you Yes, I'm still married, but I am going through a divorce um, and it's been over a year and they still aren't divorced or they're still, you know, living in the ex-partner's house or in their home. Obviously, they're leading you on and it's time for you to see things for what they really are. Don't be on the defensive side, meaning if the partner or person they're dealing with gets, you know, they get them caught up. And later on, they're coming back around trying to get information. Don't take it like you're offended. I mean, if you were aware, you have no reason to be offended. And if you weren't aware, you need to understand or put yourself in the other person's shoes. Because I do see that there is almost like a some type of desire to get more clarity about the situation um, with the page of... Um, with the page of wands, it could be that they are coming back around trying to gather some type of information. And we're talking about the third party. So again, be wise, pay attention to the red flags, cancer, if they're promising you that things are going to change, they are not. And it's time you start to really wake up and see what really is going on. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight and I wish you guys the very best. Talk to you soon. Bye.